Oh, well, howdy, partner. I got a fellow Texan in the video. Well, howdy. Welcome to Ninja Review. Today, we're taking it all the way back to Texas on Thrasher Magazine. A link to this video will be in the description below. Let's rewind and hit play. Looks like we got some weird insects catching on fire. I like to set fires in Texas. Now we're pushing around with my weird pants, kick flipping across, going down, back tail. That was actually a really sick opening line. You guys know I'm not the biggest Evan Smith fan. Just because I feel like there's, there's a million ways to stand out in skating. My favorite one would be to be really good at skating, but some people, their favorite way to stand out is to like stick shit to their head or rip half of their shirt off or dress in some goofy outfit that's more memorable. And I guess that that is kind of what I did in the past for my skating. I did roly polies and wore green shoelaces, but I also tried to uh, avoid Tic Tacs and things like that. Really nice kickflip with the fake knee-sties, the T-Funk style. Watch the knee. You're gonna tell me that that was real? I don't know, but let's continue. You know what, skating just passed me by. Wait, did I just see a guy that was dressed the same as me? Well, howdy, partner. I got a fellow Texan in the video. Clapping for my friends, my city folk. Backside flip over that, pretty crazy. Dropping in, looks like Evan's gonna be the star of this video. Big impossible to front toe almost drag into some Tic Tacs. Got a big spin falling down. His goggles fell off, which that's important for skating to wear a snorkel and goggles. Nice. Is is it nice? <laughs> I almost said nice switch fronts I flipped. Not sure any of those tricks were very nice when you're Tic Tacking at the end of it. This guy's going fast. Huge back 180. Steez is it out on the way out. Notice no dancing, no Tic Tacs. This guy is headbutting the spot because that's what kids like to see. I, I can see why. I, I guess I can see why. Especially because autism is so huge right now and his artwork there didn't surprise me at all. Another fake steez on the kickflip, which also I think his hand may have touched the ground on both of those tricks. It seems like that's something we don't complain about anymore. Really nice smith grind there. Nicely done. Excellent. Uh, is that Mikey? Maybe not, show it again. No slide pop out, looking good. The rail is so fat that it kind of makes it a little harder to pop out, I would imagine. We got a hug, everyone's hugging. We got some transition here. Going all the way up, upside down. I really got respect for people that can learn those tricks. Even though everyone learns them with pads on, it's still cool to see. Oh, you know what? Big hater of non-skating in skating videos, but if anyone's jumping off some shit into some water, I'm gonna let it go. And of course the B-roll where nothing happens. This is where, again, all the kids on the spectrum start really vibing out to the video. And uh, <laughs> they, their tour bus really should just be a short bus. Nice all into the back grind, rolling down the hill. T-Funk style again. That is 100% Mikey Whitehouse. With the hippie jump down. Notice with him, no pointless, uh, no pointless actions on the skateboard. He's there to land the tricks. And it looks like they, uh, their quota here was to make a five minute video, but they only had about three minutes of footage. So of course that means film everyone's face, film all the street signs, film everyone run away, film everyone hugging. Nice front shove there. Rolling down, little skid, show the front shove again, show the skid again. There it is, that's what the kids like. Skids for the kids. Switch heel, really extended the legs there. Nice landing, no weird Tic Tacs. And you know what, the little, the little uh, fakey ollie turnaround off the curb right there, to do it so effortlessly, kind of impressive uh, for someone to do that without even really thinking about it. Of course, we get the ledge tricks. We get a multi-technician. Mikey can do anything, unlike everyone else on this team. That was actually really crazy front wall ride. Really impressive there. And still had the control to 180 out and didn't add a bunch of pointless random Tic Tacs. We got the backside ollie over. I'm gonna call that real steez today. Kickflip crook over the little mini rail onto the fat rail. Pretty impressive until the tic tacs at the end. 
The power ollie, as Josh would, would tell you, I had this big debate with Josh Katz a long time ago that there's nothing called a power ollie. We just call it a drop in. But you know, skateboarders are always trying to make skateboarding seem harder than it is. Was that a chick? Wait a minute. You can't tell by the outfits anymore these days. I'm pretty sure that was a chick. But the impossible at the end makes me think it's not a chick. I'm, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Not, not that it matters what you are or, or whatever. I just mean the outfits. Wow, he really, he really went uh, diagonal there. Hold on, I wanna watch that big ollie again. From the first angle, you couldn't really see that he that he traveled so much, so much diagonal. But you watch this angle, that was pretty gnarly. Holding onto the car, going up. What a terrible spot. Nice job. Oh, she's... Wait, is that Evan Smith on the right or the left? I don't know. Actually, can, tell me this. You guys think I'm exaggerating, but on any given day, Evan Smith would be wearing an outfit exactly like that. Prove me wrong. In fact, that's... This is back to the future. This is them meeting back at the meetup spot, and that's the old version of him. Insane back nose blunt. I think it would have been more impressive without the yank in, but still, that's nuts to get to get up on a spot like that. And also the curb, whoever bondoed this is a, kind of a monster. And that was the whole video? Let's see the credits because I'm 99.999% sure that uh, Mikey was in there. And I just noticed there was two chicks there, but I think we only got footage of one. So it's always nice to be invited on tour to not do any tricks. There's Mikey right there. Nice video, pretty good, well done. My favorite part of the video is that they left so much stuff in there for me to make fun of. And skateboarding's all about having fun, right? That's how I have fun, watching the skate video, so I don't wanna see anybody crying about Ninja Lifestyle being mean because this is how I watch skate videos. It's fun for me. And these guys did all this work going out there, landing their crazy tricks, traveling, and wearing their weird outfits to impress you and me. So in my opinion, video is, uh, Nine out of 10. Again, that's only my opinion. I would love to hear your thoughts in a comment below. Not for the algorithm, because I genuinely want to hear what you guys thought of this video, and I read almost every single comment. Moving on, I'm filming this video on Monday. I'm not sure if this is going to be our Saturday episode, or if we're going to do more episodes, because usually I review two videos, this week, as far as submissions go, a lot of people messed up. I got one video in 480p, I got one vertical video. So as far as my queue goes, there's only one video there. So if I get a video tomorrow or the next day or the next day, I'll probably make an extra episode of Ninja Review and maybe we'll keep it going like we did last week and do two videos of Ninja Review every week. Sounds fun to me. If you would like to submit your video to Ninja Review, find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram, send me a DM. In this DM, write the words, this is for Ninja Review. Then include a link to an HD YouTube video and make sure the aspect ratio is 16 by nine. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Go out there, land some tricks. I'm going skateboarding tomorrow and hopefully things go good. I'll catch you guys next time. Kuna Matata. In the arms.